What's good YouTube? I am LB and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Now if I remember correctly, last episode when we left off, uh, we were heading towards Copperbell Mines and we had another gladiator quest to go through. So we head into that. Uh, and before we get into the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, and comment what you've liked so far. If you if you like the Final Fantasy playthroughs, if you want to see more Pokemon unboxings, let me know. So yeah. Oh, oh, it's like a <laughs> it's like an addiction coming back and, and playing this, scratching that that good itch. Because ever since I started recording as Albie, I haven't really played my main account as much. Mainly, mainly because I don't want to get you know further ahead than where I am right now, so that I, so that Albie has to catch up even more. Um, but yeah, thankfully, okay. So painted Mesa from last episode is right here. So we'll just go straight into this. Looking for painted Mesa, you found uh, you found him. So the, you're the beep, beep. oh my god, we're after a great start. So the, you're the adventurer who's a volunteer to deal with the mess down in Copperbell, are you? You've got guts, mate. I just hope you've got the skills to go with them, because because things aren't pretty down there. Ain't pretty down there. The Hecatonkeries have left the place in a right state, and nary a week after mining resumed. I think it's Hecatonkeries. I'll, I'll probably have to look up the uh, the the pronunciation, but it, it basically means I think it's the hundred-handed ones in the Greek mythology. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but Copperbell was old when the second Ul dynasty was still young, and it was abandoned centuries ago. If it hadn't been for the shortage of materials needed for the rebuilding effort, the concern would never have thought to re reopen it. We knew full well about the giants beforehand, but the project went ahead anyway. I mean, nothing could possibly be surviving down... Oh my god. Could possibly survive being buried under a mountain's worth of rock for three centuries, right? Wrong! Our miners dug up more than they bargained for. One swing of the pickaxe too many and they found themselves in the company of giants. Unless we can subdue them, the nation's glorious, glorious recovery will grind to a halt for want of aught to build with. The stone torches are keeping watch over the entrance in case the giants fancy some sunlight and fresh air. One of them will be able to show you the way in, the hope of the nation's resting on you, friend. Best of luck. Oh, uh, <laughs> I also said uh, last week I was thinking about doing the smith quest oh actually i could do that before i go because the the smith is right here if i remember correctly they're like i think we went through this before okay all of the novice membership granted Re register for training exercises by speaking with one of the smiths okay basically Okay, so now I can take. So this is like basically training for tanks. I'll I'll, I'll do one and then I'll, like to show like what it's like. So it's like queuing if you're a duty. Uh, um, I'll show yeah, I'll show you one test to see what it's like, and then I'll skedaddle. Listen up, novice. The master of shields. Ooh, that sounds sick. For this exercise, you'll be learning avoidance. Oh. An enemy often tips his hand before a big strike, so save yourself some hurt and step clear of the impact. Okay, so they're talking about like AOE markers. Show you, show you've learned to get out of the way and you pass. Are we clear? Let me know when you're ready to begin. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Oh, okay. So I have to talk to him. Sweet. Let's go. Do, 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 do. The train. Uh, this training exercise is now underway. Watch your opponent carefully. When you see an attack coming, move out of the strike range. Okay. Oh, sweet. That was easy. That's the way. And then I move again. And then, bada bing. Oh, this guy is strong. Time I switch to a new technique. Better ch change your dance ch steps. Interject has no effect. God damn it! Stand the bitch. Oh, okay. Now it's my turn. It'll be okay. 
So basically dodging magic AoEs. That's all good. Oh. Now I can throw my frisbee at her. <laughs> or them. I can't see from here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now I gotta face all of them. Think he can dodge us both? Ah, shit. Keep calm and watch for signs. Oh. Yes. Oh. Am I out of it? Sweet. Keep it up, lad. You're almost at the end. Oh, I don't think I have to beat them. I just have to run around and stay out of their AoEs. Easy. And this concludes the exercise. Come see me for your reward. Your reward. Ah. Uh, Master of Shields. Outstanding. Learning to avoid the obvious attacks is a skill all adventurers need. Those who insist on standing still won't survive the profe uh, profession. Uh, and speaking of survival, perfe perfecting each of me lessons will earn you a piece of armor and help you in your chosen your chosen role. Oh, okay. I didn't remember that they gave you a piece of armor for each training. That might be a thing to do. I might do it off camera, but this like, so I have like, the the glamour. But damn, okay. Uh, you can also repeat the same lesson with other masters and be rewarded with quip, uh, equipment what works best for students of their combat style. So basically, if you want to train as a Dragoon or so, uh, some such. Uh, here's your bonus for completing the exercise. Remember this training and the field of battle. Sweet! So I wonder, I wonder if the gear is leveled to what I currently am. No, it's not. Okay, so it is, it is very much the thing you want to do first. Um, ooh, also, character, what level gear do I have? I have 18, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, uh, 15. I'm not looking at the item level, by the way. I'm looking at the level for the gear. The next part, Gladiator Quest, am I up to date on that? Give me a second. I think I am up to date. I'm just double checking because I'm, uh, <laughs> I don't trust my old eyes. Because sometimes they don't show up on the map and you have to, like, go in and select them. No, okay, so there is the next quest. Alright, sweet. So, I'll do that so I can get some, maybe, leveled gear and some gill. Maybe I can skip the, the time. Oh, I get a sword and shield as well. Is that better than what I've got? The sword is slightly better. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, so better gear. Better... Better feet gear. <laughs> so I can do that. Alright, what up, Milo? Albi, I'm glad you're here. One of our members has been attacked and gravely wounded. I need you to go and help him. I suspect this is the work of more bounty hunters. It may even be a trap to lure us, uh, more of us out into the open. Nevertheless, we cannot ignore our comrade's plight. When last he contacted us by Link Pearl, he said he'd try to seek t uh, shelter at the Coffer and Coffin. Take this potion and search for him there. Shit. They're messing with my gladiator, boys? Bro. Nuh uh, not today. I'm, I'm about to clap these fucking cheeks. In, in, not in a good way. Okay. Ninja Gladio, what's up? Help, help me. I can't feel my penis. Potent potion. Thank you, brother. It all happened so fast. Over by the tracks to the north. I don't know who attacked me nor why they left, uh, left me alive. But I dare say the answer is out there. Surely someone saw something. Do I have to talk to them in, in there? Ooh. Oh, Roundelf. What's up, Randolph? The fellow outside. Aye, I saw him stumble in when I left to the bar to take a piss. Was alone, as I recall. You say he's wounded. Thought he was just drunk. Ah, oh, wow. What great fucking help. Alright, so I gotta talk to somebody in Blackbrush and then head to the left. No. Oh, it's Et Etfled. <laughs> what up, Etfled? Oh, okay. My, my my controller's drifting and I don't like it. What up, Etfled? Suspicious characters. Well, now that you mention it, I did see a strange fellow wearing a garish purple robe. At first I thought he was talking to himself, but then I realized he had a link pearl. I heard him say something about the wrong man and the silver bazaar. Does that help? Oh, I gotta go to the Silver Bazaar. God dang it. That's on Western Vanilla Land. 
And I... Ooh, I could teleport to Horizon. I do have 7k. It will make it a lot quicker. So I might do that. I'm to Point of ambush. Nobody here? Okay, sweet. Speak with the injured gladiator. Oh, so I'm j oh, I just go back to him. Sweet. Okay, what up? God, purple robe. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Ah, oh, it was him, I swear it. Did you find anything else? A scorpion ring. Pick this up in the tracks, eh? Might well have belonged to the boss. It can't say I've seen it's like before. Might be as Wyman could tell you more. You know him, don't you? He's a bespectacled, blo a bespectacled bloke. He's always lounging around Emerald Avenue in the city. Of course, being the businessman that he is, he'll probably ask to be compensated in exchange. Show that ring to Wyman, he's sure to know something about it. Shit. Is it lazy to catch a fucking- Oh, I could just return. I'm just gonna return. Well, no, if it ain't Albi, everybody's favorite venture. I hear you threw your lot in with the gladiators. A, question, a questionable decision, given the events of recent days, but it each is own. To what do I owe the pleasure? Oi, put that away before someone sees it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sit my pants up. Where in the seven hells did you get one of those rings? What, don't you recognize the sigil? <sighs> Goddamn fool. Before you go stumbling around in the brush, you ought to at least know what kind of venomous bastards will be lurking there. Been a long time since Oldar's seen a criminal organization rise from obscurity to no notoriety as quickly as the Alacran. Word is they've got connections to the Brass Blades, the Syndicate, and gods know who else. But you didn't hear that from me. I want no part of whatever mess you and your mates have gotten yourselves into, understood? Wow, fucking cheers. I gotta go back to Myla. What up, Myla? Oh, it's a cutscene. Oh, Alby! I was wondering when you might return. What news do you bring of our injured comrade? He was attacked by a member of the Cal Alacran whose attackers may be headed to the Silver Bazaar. Ooh. I guess a member of the Alacran. Uh, I guess they both are important. But I'll, I'll go to the Calacran one. The Alacran? I find that hard to believe, but no matter. Oh, maybe that wasn't the right answer. One of our comrades returned from Stone's Throw all moments ago. A gang of bandits is said to be headed for the Silver Bazaar. They're after a man with enormous bounty on his head. The people living there are in grave danger. In their frenzy to find their quarry, the bandits won't scruple to destroy property and harm uh, civilians. And the few brass blades stationed there will be powerless to stop them. We must stop them, Albie. We'll protect the Silver Bazaar, avenge our injured guildmate, all in one fell swoop. A bit melodramatic, if you ask me. What up, Aldous? Aldous? I told you never to come back here again. I couldn't sit idly by while you charge into battle against an enemy you know nothing about. Myla, a responsible guildmaster, would never risk the lives of her charges like this. Who are you to lecture me about responsibility? Damn. Myla, listen to me. This is the Alacran you're dealing with. So? Whatever notoriety they may have achieved means nothing to me. We'll cut them down like the common bandits they are. It's not that simple. More importantly, it's not your fight. What are you saying? They want me, Myla. I've been fending off assassination attempts ever since I returned to Thanalan. Just stay here and let me handle this. It'll be over soon, I promise. Just stay here while you go off on your own, is that it? It's been seven years since I left. Uh, let you leave, Aldous. Seven years. Do you have any idea, any idea what, at all, what you put me through? Myla. I don't want to hear it, you selfish bastard. Do you even care about the people who suffered because of you? Just, just get out. We don't need your help. We'll settle this ourselves. Myla, wait, there's something you need to know. Enough. Get out. Get out. Alright, alright. <laughs> so, uh, save some of that for the alacrim. But do not... Try to uh, do try not to let Albie co here come to harm while you're at it. Damn. What are you trying to say? Are you trying to say I can't handle myself, Aldous? <sighs> well, so we're heading to the Silver Bazaar in Western Thanaland. Oh, the Copperfield Mines are in Western Thanaland as well. Sweet. One eternity later. Oh, 
when we're here. Okay, sweet. I'm just gonna get the chocobo keep real quick. Uh, well much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sweet, sweet. Uh, and now, <laughs> now comes the tough part. There you are, Albie. Everybody's already in position. Are you prepared? Let's go. Oh, I was almost the max level for this. Oh, shit. Do I go here? Do I go AoE? Do I get a mole? I can get a mole. Damn, these guys are dying quick. Yeah, shit. I'll, I'll help Myla because she's like important and shit. Oh, zoom in a bit <laughs> so I can see some shit. And I think, if I remember correctly, there's going to be reinforcements. Yep. Just as I fucking said it. Oh, here we go. Is there a captain in this one? There might be. Oh, shit. I might have bitten off more than I can chew. Conjures are greater threat. The others can wait. Okay. Uh, diligence of Alacran. Diligence of Alacran. Got this one. I don't know this this one's a fucking healer. First sword, I'm sorry. Oh shit, I let somebody die. Fuck. Is this a big boy? Oh. Thaumatur, just gods. I've always hated mages. Okay, get this one out. Get this one out. Oh come on. Oh, stay alive for me. I mean, like, enemies die, but... Okay. Can I take... Or provoke? There we go. Look at me! Witness me! Oh! Finish them before they can cast again. Who? There's nobody left! We killed them all! Okay, sweet. Alright. Goodbye, Charity. Oh, yeah! Let's go. Now, there's probably a cutscene, right? Oh. Rejoice, gladiators, for the day is ours! Yeet. Huzzah! Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Hmm? Uh, god damn it. That's a purple dude. What? But why would you be? Leave him to us, first sword. Uh oh. This is not gonna be good. No, stop! Ah, shit. <sighs> Ooh! Such brittle blades so easily broken. Perhaps the first sword is made of stronger steel. Leave her, Zana. Our business here is over. Shit. Oh, he's got the other blade. What? What have you done, Leovold? First sword, we must withdraw. withdraw. The wounded need tending. Let us take them back to the guild. Shit. Oh, damn. That can go well. So now I can just return to... Oh, I still got a time limit. Oh, I can just teleport back to Uldar. That's fine. 182, yeah, that's fine. I got, I'm gonna get money from this anyway. And I'm not buying gear like I did last time, so I'm, I'm Gucci. So I'm gonna go back to Gladiator's Guild. And then we head off to Copper Bell Mines. I was about to say we head off to Old R, but we're already here. Okay, speak with Myla. Give me my sword, please. 
Give me a moment, Al a moment, Alby. I need to think. I wanted to, sp to spare you this, Myla. I begged you not to go. You knew Aldous. Aldous. That, that Leovold had... Yes. Leovold and I once fought side by side in the Colosseum. The twin swords of Noel Thor, they called us. Never lost a match honoured by the bull of Oil Amigo himself. But that was then and this is now. When I learned Leovold single-handedly transformed the Alacran from a gang of common thieves into the most cri uh, feared crime organization in Thunderland, I knew I had to return. It seems like a lifetime ago that the three of us used to train together in this hall. The Leovold that I knew would never stoop so low. He was a good man, strong and true. What would drive him to do this? When I find him, I'll be sure to ask. Unfortunately, he seems determined to kill me for my curiosity. Why aren't you telling me? What aren't you telling me, Aldous? I'm not clever enough to keep secrets, my dear. I'm a simple man, only capable of dealing with what's right in front of me. Is that so? I'm, I'll am i find him, Myla. I promise. Damn. Ooh! And it was the sword, uh, not the sword, the boots I needed. These boots are made for walking. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Sweet. And then I'll probably be leveled enough by the end of Copper Bell. Ooh. Oh, look at that. The nice sun on the shield. Then I'll be leveled enough uh, once we finish Copper Bell Mines, hopefully, to do the next one. So I can do that next episode. Sweet. Okay, so I'm actually just going to jump off here so I don't have to go all the way. And then run over here. And then I'll be able to do... I'll be able to do... The Copper Bell Mines. And uh, if you're just joining this episode for some reason, uh, I'm not going to do any side quests. Because I'm trying to catch up to uh, my character, my main character in um, Shadowbringers. Um, yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> I've, I've got two months, or under, just under two months now, before like the pre-order people can play, the, uh, play Endwalker. So I'm looking forward to it. But what's up, Stone Torch? There's been an incident inside Copperbell Mines. We are here to ensure that it, its effects are contained. For your own safety, I suggest you stay away from here. What? You're the adventurer who's uh, volunteered to quell the Hecatonkeries. I didn't think that Papa Sean would be able to find someone so quickly, if at all. The giants are content uh, to wreak havoc inside the mines for now. But it's only a matter of time before they think to come outside. The sooner you see to them, the better. Make ready as best you can and at, and enter at will. Sweet! And now... I can just go straight in. Coffee bell mines, baby! Oh, and I think I didn't explain this very well. The roulette, basically... Um, it does a lottery of... Well, not a lot... Or it does a roulette of all the dungeons you've ha uh, unlocked so far and then it'll give you a random one that needs people of a certain type whether it be tank or healer or, or dps and as you go on you get a higher level and better in my opinion um roulettes that are definitely worth doing because you get big stonks money and experience so if you want to like level up characters or different classes uh you can do that so yeah let's get into copper bell mines Jesus Christ, that was quick. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna have to remember as well to do my tank stance. And while we're loading, I'm just gonna say let's and then tab do it. Sweet. Oh. Then here we go. Alright, hopefully we don't have any, uh, people that like to run ahead. Let's go! Okay. Ooh, level 17. Why did they draw the aggro first? What the frick? I, it, in all fairness, I probably should have, uh, shield lobbed at the beginning. But I was just like, eh. I can't be bothered. 
Oh, we got a Lancer. Wait, so what have we got? We got a Lancer. It looks like a Scholar and a White Mage? I'm not actually sure. I can't tell by the symbols. I haven't, I haven't paid attention that much. But yeah. Oh, also, uh, there's a website. Um, oh, you gotta pick up the tiny key that they give you. Oh, okay. Thank you, Noi, for doing that. Oh, they already did it. I'm just gonna let them do it. Sweet. Um, there's a website that will give you, like, a rundown of, uh, the classes. Um, more in-depth rundown of the classes. Uh, I'll link it in the description. I can't remember what it's exactly called. But I highly recommend looking at that, that if you want a more in-depth, um, guide to picking your first class. Which, again, also doesn't matter, remember? You can always switch if, if it's not, um, working out for you. So I'm just gonna pull it here. Because I can, and I'm sick. I'm fully sick. Alright. Stun somebody before I die. <laughs> Interject. I forgot to. I should do that at the end of this dungeon. Or, uh, yeah, after this dungeon. Uh, read what Interject and um, the other one do. Reprisal. I know what they do, but like maybe I'll, I'll do it for your benefit. I actually, well, I, I don't know what uh, Interject does exactly. Oh, well, here's another one. What up, dude? Stun him or them. Um, stabby, stabby. Fast blade. And then we run this way. Don't go that way, please. Oh, thank God. People know. Jump to let people know that you're a friendly person. And there's a dungeon that. Uh, dungeon. A giant that pops out here. We might. Should we? I could pull over to the other side, but again, I cannot be asked. And I don't like the healers doing work. I I won't lie, they're doing well. Uh oh, I can't reach them from here. Okay, stabby stabby. Maybe use rampart. I I don't know if you're meant to use your um cooldowns as a tank on cooldown but I do I, I I usually always have one of them up oh this is a good pull I'll go here get everybody in reprisal let's go stun somebody oh get out of the AoEs like we got told we learnt in the in the training guide let's go A for effort <laughs> uh, good thing about um, having a Lancer is they don't have positional uh, positionals at this lower level so we don't have to worry about like running around too much, uh, just to escape the AOEs and stuff. Stun somebody! Ooh, I'm gonna pull over. Oh, I could get this friggin'. Yeah, let's get him. Let's go. Oh, get out of the AOE. Get the Coblin, please. So these two should die. Yep, and now it's just this last one. Sweet. Just gonna pull a bit. Oh, there we got him. Let's go. Jump to show joy. <laughs> All right, get that. Pull him. I can pull him. Probably. I can pull him pretty far. Oh no! Yeah, I'll wait here. Because I know there's a, a couple. Oh, are they gonna try and? Okay, good. I thought they were gonna try and pull to the next room, but I don't know if we're ready for that. You know. Okay, kill that sprite. And then we're working on this one. Sweet. Okay, uh, well. So, at this bit, somebody has to go grab that fire sand, because we'll need to use that in a sec. Um, not just yet, but we'll just work down these, these enemies. Yeet! Alright, uh, because that's... If that's important, don't forget to grab that fire sand. It will make sense in a second when we get to where we need to get to. There also are some more mechanics uh, in this dungeon than previous dungeons, if I remember correctly. Uh, one of the boss fights has a relatively easy mechanic, so it's nothing nothing to worry about, but like you just got to keep an eye out. So there's another fire sand up there that we have to get, so that guy's getting it. And then I just put it in here. And then somebody else can blow the charge. Sweet. 
And then I'll unlock the next bit. Boom! How cool is that? <laughs> and then I can start the boss fight. So this one's relatively easy. They'll spawn in that corner over to the right, and they'll sco uh, spawn over here next to those boxes. Um, and you basically just gotta work them down. So I'm just gonna go grab this one, and then grab this one. This one you can, because it's such low level, you don't have to really worry about like, you know, everybody being on the same mobs at the same time. You can just spread them out if you really want. And then. Like, it's, it's not, even the boss in this, technically boss in this area, is very easy. Like, it's nothing. Like, I could just stand over here and, oh, okay, actually, maybe. No, yeah, everybody's fine. Sweet. So, yeah, um, a couple of them will spawn. I think there's another round? Nope, there's a flambeau first. And then it's a couple more rounds and then another flambeau and then the big boss. So, I'll shield lob. Stabby stab. Okay, yeah, see, they spawn everywhere. Grab everybody in the AoE. Uh, stabby stab. Get some more AoEs, let's go. Ooh! Sweet. Another flambeau. And I believe, right after this guy. Oh, there's another group, okay. So I'll grab them in the AoE. Sweet. Grab these ones in the AoE. Oh, grab everybody in the AoE. So yeah, you don't have to worry too much about everybody's health going too low in this fight. Um, obviously in later fights, you might need to, but this fight's easy as. And then, yep, yeah, there is Kotos, the giant. Um, yeah. I don't know how I feel about the giants in this. I, I, I wish they'd, like... Ooh. I don't know if I want to spoil it. Is it a spoil to say that something isn't in a game? I guess it could be. But anyway, that guy's gone. There's another tiny key that we get for this door. Check the treasure, see if it's the right level. Don't need it. Earrings. Ooh, greet it. Okay. And then, a couple mobs. Okay. AoE these mofos. Get him off our uh, Lancer. Stun him, because you can. <laughs> Again, like most things, unless you really mess up in lower dungeons, nothing bad really happens. So like the last episode where we were in Sestasha, um, that was a big mess, mess up. But if we hadn't done that, we would have been fine. That also was the first dungeon. So everybody's like, it's everybody's first time. Not everybody's first time. It can be everybody's first time, so... Always tread with caution with, uh... The first three dungeons, which is Sestasha... The Thousand Moors of Toto... I think... No, no. That's not... The, forget what I said. <laughs> the, the, the next dungeon was Tamtara. And then this is, um... The big boy. Copper Bell Mines. So I'm gonna head over here. So remember how we got fire sand last time? One of these mobs drops fire sand. So we want to get all of them as a tank in an AOE. Let our let our healers and DPS do their job. Oh, and move out of the AOEs so that we don't get yeeted and deleted. Um, so that's two down. Yep. So I'll focus on this blasting cap. Um, so yep, one of them drops. A uh, fire sand. I'll let Noi get that. Then we gotta go to the other side and do the same thing as well. Yeet. Some blasting cap in the ass. God damn it, why you gotta pull the enemies, man? Oh, Yeah, lancers have a, an ability where they can throw spears from a distance, like my shield lob. Um, not gonna lie, it kinda looks better because it's a fucking spear. But, you know, if, if, if you're the tank, you want, you want to be the ones pulling. Because then you're always prepared because you're the one that knows. You can go over there, but we don't need to. We don't need to. Okay, I guess we did. Ugh. Goggles, do I need them? I do not need them. Sweet. 
Uh, shaft E1, another fire sand that we need. And then this is the boss that I was talking about with the little bit of the work that we need to do. So at my job as a tank is to pull this guy away. Well, this blob. Away from the improved blasting device so that somebody else can trigger it. And so you'll see a blasting cap arrives. And so I need to bring this blob over to this blasting cap. Uh, and make sure that when this blasting cap goes off, that the... Oh, oh, I should probably bring him over. There we go. Get the slime in here. God. Oh, I did get it. Okay, so that was close, but yeah. Oh, oh my god. I was... I am low. I did not realize I was low. Uh, heals, please. Oh, no. That was, that was my mess up. That's not the healer's fault. Um, okay, sweet. So, yeah, uh, definitely stay out of the AoE because it'll, it'll, it'll hurt, as you saw just then. So, now I just gotta stay alive. Make sure the blasting cap is in the, it, the slime is in the AoE of the blasting cap. Why is, move out of the way, alright, alright, the slime's in the blasting cap. We're out of it, we don't have to worry. So I guess it's to the smaller ones. Grab everybody's attention onto me, again. Wait until the thing's ready. You can AoE, but it, it doesn't do shit. So I'm just gonna get these ready. Wait for Rick Dom <laughs> to get the improved blasting device ready. Pull it, pull it, sweet. And then another blasting cap, and I'll bring it over here. Now that uh, Spriggan can heat a rock at the blasting cap to trigger it, but you don't have to wait for it. You can just get it into your AoE. Oh, don't explode too quickly. Okay. Now they're low enough level that we can just AoE them. Let's go! So yeah, that's the, the mechanic of this fight. Nothing too difficult, but um, good to know because like, if, you, if you're trying to DPS it... Ooh, I leveled up! If you're trying to DPS it, um, it, it, it won't work out. So yeah. Ooh, what, what, what have we got? Uh, plundered goggles. Plundered trousers? Knee, please? Shit. That was hell good. Alright. So I'll give you a secret. This way is slightly quicker. So I'm gonna grab these guys. And just stand over here. Um, this is an Albie tips. Uh, Albie dungeon tips. <laughs> Forget about Linus tech tips, it's Albie dungeon tips! I gotta get out of that anyway. Alright, um... Now, because there's only two, I can focus on one. Get that hippo surf out. The living fossil. So you can drop down here, and you skip this section to the left. So I'm just gonna pull these guys in here. Hopefully everybody came this way, sweet. Um, yeah. I might actually pull them up to here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Because the living fossils are dying relatively quick. And then once the 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 giant comes in here, the they should be dead soon. I'll get that reprisal up. I'm not dying in like two seconds. Got everybody in here. Stun the Hecatonkeries because he's a big boy. And he does big damage. Big dick damage. <laughs> to my body hall. Alright, get the Hippocephs down. Ooh, I am... Oh, no, I'm okay. Alright, sweet. Wow, the Hecatonkeries died first. We must have focused him down uh, quicker. And then Hippocephs is dead. Sweet. And then we can get these two guys over here. Because even if you don't get them, someone usually triggers them. So, Or you don't intend to get them, somebody usually just like runs a bit too close to this area. And then you get a little che uh, treasure chest in the corner. Um, I'm just going to pull over here. And grab the treasure coffer. Ooh, that looked like an interesting fucking garment. I believe the treasure coffers are random. Like, there's a set group of... Ah, oh, that's not for me at all. Oh, god dang it. There's a set list of items and, like, it goes on, like, a roulette. Uh, for what items you can get. Boris. Sweet! Okay. Slaves no more! Free! Free! Ooh, my throat is sore. 
<coughs> oh, he's angry. All right, bosses must pay, bosses must die. Sweet. I think everybody's out of the cutscene. Yes. All right. Let's go. Gygus the Great. Now he just DPS. Now you'll see in the top left we have Limit Break. Uh, for those that have never played, I think I went into this uh, on one of the other um, uh, uh, the other vi videos. But um, Limit Break is if you see in my in my bars. Oh, he's running away. Uh, in my bars, like the top left here, that's Limit Break. And it basically just gives you a super fucking attack. And it's fucking sick. Dep or, uh, depending on the attack. Tanks rarely use it. Uh, the most uses, obviously, is DPS. We can leave that Stone Servant. He's, he's nothing. Um, the most use is the DPS. And then Healer would, like, um, would... If, like, if you're in a crisis, you might need to use it. To like heal everybody, but um, wait, where's the lancer by the way? Where the fuck is? Where the fuck is Kylia? Am I blind? Oh, she's up there. My bad. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is she doing? So right now, somebody could use limit break, but I don't know if, if anybody wants to. I I could, but again, it would just give us like a. Uh, uh, is, I think it's shields? Extra shields? There we go. Or damage reduction, it might be. But yeah, sweet. Uh, always type good game, because we are, we are polite gamers. Sweet. Wait, did I get the Acolyte's Robe? I thought I passed on that. So yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm high enough level to get to the next Paladin quest. I will give Rick Dom the thing. I don't need the plundered knuckles. I don't need that either. I could go for the below orchestrion roll. That's uh, one of those sheets that you can put into the the music box, basically in your room, and it plays. Are you gonna? Oh, sweet! I got it. Uh, yeah, basically says the same thing. Uh, you have to also like amount. You have to use the item first before you can. Uh, use the item, if that makes sense. Like, you, you click on it in your inventory and then you use it. So I'm just gonna jump to show that I'm polite. Then I'm gonna head out. Hey! Two player accommodations, let's go! Now we go back to Painted Mesa. Oh, some of you... Ah! I'm seeing more people, man. What's going on? The server wasn't full when we logged in, I don't think. Um, but it's still nice. To see a lot more people. I, I bet you once we go to like limbs or some shit for a mission, it'll be chockers. But yeah. How far have we gone? Oh, we can do maybe another mission or two. Oh, painted mesa. Oh, what the fuck? This is not good. Uh, if you're above the maximum. Oh, shit. What's going on? Are you good, mesa? Ah, oh, the conqueror of Copperbell Mines. Thanks to you, our mining operations can resume. And all Dar will have the materials she needs to rebuild. Rebuild. <laughs> the entire nation's in your debt, friend. I, I'll share the good tidings with Papa Shan the next time I see him. As for you, you'll want to report to Mamodi. It'll do the woman well to see you alive in one, and in one piece. Oh? They better not attack my Mamodi. I might have to slap a bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, I remember this. Shut your mouth, you thieving little swine. You stole from me. Don't even think to deny it. P please, sir. I didn't steal nothing. B I b bought this. Paid for it with my own coin. What rot. You refugees are all the same. Couldn't afford maggoty mole meat, much less a choice cut of dodo. I'm going to say it one more time. Give back what you stole. Or I'll make you wish you'd never set foot in this town. Oh, I got yellow boots. 
I like it. By rights, I should turn you over to the brass blades. You know, help keep the streets safe for law-abiding citizens. But I'm a reasonable man. If you agree to serve me in whatever capacity I require, the authorities needn't hear of your crime. Ugh. Gross. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go fuck yourselves. Oh, what a... F I'm a gladiator. I can do this. But, but I didn't... I ain't done nothing wrong. I got nothing left. Twelve is me witness. Oh shit! Yep. Everybody, look at these big motherfuckers. They're backing away like nothing. But please, adventurer, help me! I beg of ye. I swear on my mother's grave, I didn't steal nothing. I bet this was the. Co I bought this with the corn I'd saved. Only wanted to treat me children to a decent meal. Ah oh, yeah. Come on. Get in there with the shield. Let's go! And who the hell are you when you're... At who's, wait, who the hell are you when you're at home? This dog's master. Pull the sword out. Come on. I've had enough of this mama's fast, you lot. Teach, teach them a lesson. Come on, let's go. Let's fuck these bitches up. You want to try something? Come on. Load. Yes. Come here, you piece of shit. Zoot out a bit. But I'll take care of this. The rest of you can watch. Stun that bitch. Uh, take stats. I don't need it because I'm the only one in this, but still. It's always important to remember. Filthy bodyguard. It was not bad for an adventurer. What do you mean? I fucking I haven't lost any health, you weak shit. Ugh, I should have stopped at the seventh ale. Yeah, you should have stopped before you fucking came into my city, bitch. Stop bloody gawping at me and give me a hand, will ye? Nah, bitch, it's too late for you. You want some? Bugger, 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 yeah, no. <laughs> oh, nay. I'll fight all of you all at once. You know what? I'll even reprise, reprise you all. Fuck you. Yep. Filthy bodyguard's going down. And boastful bodyguard is dead. Fucking suck it, bitch. I'm the king here. King Kong ain't got shit on me. <laughs> yeah, look at me. And my yellow boots that don't match. I ain't getting paid enough for this. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Thank you, kind adventurer. Thank you thrice over. Oh, it's okay. Oh, oh, it's flashback time. Gotta get back, back to the past samurai check. Watch out. Ooh. Who am I spectating? I know it's her in the background. I swear there were more refugees than when I last looked. Young city dweller. And you wouldn't be mistaken. But it's been five years since the calamity. Why are they only coming here now? It's simple, really. While a number of hamlets survived the immediate aftermath of the calamity, many were no longer able to support their communities. The res residents found their lands had either been rendered barren or cut off from trade routes. And problems like those aren't easily solved. Though they tried their best, uh, tried their, tried to make the best of it, it was only a matter of time before they were forced to abandon their homes and seek a new life in the city. I see. But the calamity affected the whole realm, didn't it? It's the same thing happening in the other cities. If the talk is true, yes. Though perhaps our situation is more pronounced. Uldar has a reputation for being prosperous, so it's natural that the refugees will try their luck here first. Damn. My heart goes out to them, it truly does. But I would be lying if I said that I wasn't apprehensive. I hope their presence doesn't foment, uh, foment lawlessness in the city. Well, if things do take a turn for the worse, we always had the immortal flames. I dare say the brass blades would welcome their help. The heroes who fought the Gallian Empire, patrolling the streets for riffraff. 
It may well come to that. Impoverished and desperate as they are, you may be sure that some of the refugees will turn to crime. You know what this place is like. If you've no coin, you've no hope. Damn. What will become of our city? Not all refugees are bad, mind you. Some are able to find employment and lead honest lives. Dodo tenderloins. Get your dodo tenderloins. Guaranteed cheapest in Thunderland. There she is. Find the dodo. Thank you for your custom, madam. Please come again. Looking around, you'd think that old R was well on its way to recovery. But peer through the veil of prosperity and you'll see no end to the misery and suffering. Damn. Or our back. Uh, sir, are you all right? Oh, I just fell asleep. <laughs> Yeet. What now? You mean to threaten a defenseless citizen? What? Saw her by that meat, you say? Th that's absurd. Yeah, I did, bitch. Eyes, did I? Leave the poor woman alone, you damnable vulture. Who said that? <laughs> Grr, I will overlook this, but just this once. If I remember correctly, one of the um, people is here. God's bless you, adventurer. You know who I talk about later. Uh, if you hadn't come along when you did, who knows what that monster might have done. It don't bear thinking about. True. Don't think about it too much, too much, too much, too much. Ooh. All's well that ends well. Hey, we meet again. Let's go. Pray do not mistake my intent, for it always on is always honourable. But I have been watching you ever since you departed Aldar. You played the part of envoy to perfection, confident as a man on a diplomatic mission should be, yet unfa unfailingly courteous to your betters. And when your travels lead you to the midst of danger, you faced it without so much as flinch, without so much as a flinch. You, my friend, are quite a marvel, and I confess to being somewhat in awe of you. Ah, but my lavish praise continues. Most of all, I was struck by your readiness to aid those in need. Even when words uh, were all the reward you could expect to receive. Such selflessness, selflessness is a rare thing in, his, in this day and age. All of which, which leads me to conclude that you are indeed the one whom I have been looking for. An adventurer possessed a very rare set of qualities. <gasps> Ooh! To be sure, your rescue of that damsel in distress was uh, more of a happy accident. But rescue her, you did. And that is what matters in the end. Ooh! Is it gonna happen? I feel I should mention at this point that I also harbor a burning interest in a certain talent of yours. I speak of your visions. You have been experience, uh, experiencing visions, have you not? Well, it just so happens that I know a woman who shares your talent and can help you un uh, to understand it. She and I belong to the same organization, and we should both be delighted beyond words if you would agree to join our cause. Naturally, there are benefits to being part of such a collective. For one, we should be glad to assist you in realizing your potential as an adventurer. You need not give me your answer now. Think upon it. And if, if you feel moved to help us, as I pray you shall, speak with Mimodi, the ever-lovely and youthful, mis uh, youthful mistress of the quicksand. Ooh! Tell her the signs of the seventh dawn have found their man, and she will tell you where to find us. Ooh! It's starting to kick up, boys! Let's go. Okay, so I gotta, he said I gotta talk to Mamodi. See, fucking Emmeline, why? Wh what were you doing when we were wait? That person was um, needing help. If I take this opportunity. Will I miss out on a better one? It's also uh, you could have helped that person that whole time. Sweet. <laughs> Scenes like that are becoming even more common, I'm afraid. 
Don't worry though, if you work hard, you'll probably all be alright. Ah, it's the same spiel. Saying that, if you ever find yourself in a spot of bother, come and see me. Just don't go pestering pester me every time you graze your knee, eh? Of course, I do enjoy hearing tell of a, a gentleman's war with women folk from time to time. It's the same fucking speech she gave me! I'm not special. Ah, help me! Sorry to keep you waiting, I was just providing guidance to a fresh off the carriage adventurer. But gods, it's good to see you safe and well. To look at you, no one would ever guess you'd been hard at it with giants in the dark. <laughs> Phrasing. Okay. Phrasing, first of all. Relax. <laughs> I never doubted for a moment that you'd succeed, of course, and uh, neither did Papachan. Which ain't to say he won't be overjoyed. Ooh, is Puppy uh, Puppy is Papa here? Oh, before I forget, there's a lass here who wants to a word with you. Didn't actually know your name, but hearing her description, I know she meant you right away. Oh, what up, Edda? Thank you for sparing the time. I realize you don't know me, but I've been longing to speak with you for a while now. My name is Edda. I'm an adventurer like you, though I'm not very good at being one, if truth be told. Anyway, I was adventuring with my friends in Gridania when... When... I I'm sorry. We were in Gridania when the leader of our party was killed. His name was Avir, and he and I were to be wed in the spring. You may not remember him, but to say that he, uh, but to say that he remembered you would be an understatement. He would sing your praises from dawn to dusk. He saw you for what you are, you see, an adventurer's adventurer, and swore that he would be like you one day. Damn. I believe that he would have succeeded had a fiend not rubbed him of the chance. Since that day, I've thought long and hard about giving up adventuring. When I think of the man you are, and of all that you've achieved, I find that I am inspired, just as Avir once was. And so I've decided to start, to get, uh, start again as an adventurer. I'll go back to the village of my birth and begin my training anew. But I wanted to meet you first, to ask you your name. I'm Albie. What's good, YouTube? <laughs> Albie Primer. I shan't forget it. Thank you, Albie Prime. I pray that we will meet again. Fare you well. Uh, fare you well, Edda. <laughs> I definitely don't know where that goes. Anyway, uh, adventurer can be adventuring can be cruel, uh, cr a cruel, bleeding business. Time was I didn't know why anyone would bother. Uh, when they first asked me to take charge of the guild here, I didn't want aught to do with you lot. Thought it'd be a right pain in the ass looking after you all. But against my better judgment, I decided to accept the post, and I'm full glad I did. I feel privileged to be part of your lives. And that goes double for yours, Alvy. Wow, taking all my credit. Eh, what did you say? You want to know about the signs of the Seventh Dawn? They're beginning to move in earnest, then. Ooh. Listen, Alvy, the signs ain't no ordinary folk. And the work they do ain't no ordinary work. I know full well how capable you are, but even you would think twice about attempting some of the stuff they do. Knowing that, if you're still certain you want to get involved, I'll tell you what I can. Fuck yeah! Alright. And I'll do this. Ooh! Modi's ready to tell you what she knows about the signs of the Seventh Dawn. So you want to know more then, do you? Well, ain't that a surprise, I swear. If I painted certain death on one door and limitless wealth on another, nine out of ten adventurers would go through the first, and the other bloke wouldn't be able to choose on account of being all darn. Anyway, don't say I didn't warn you. First of all, if you're wondering whether you can trust these signs of the seventh dawn, you can. The good people who've made it their mission to save some, uh, solve some of the Aeorzea's most pressing problems. Of course, this, uh, that ain't no small task. And so they're always looking for dependable individuals to join them. Individuals like you, Albie. Now I've been given to leave, uh, given leave to tell you where to find the silence, but you must promise to keep this information to yourself. As you can probably imagine, it's something Aorzi's enemies would very much like to know. The Scions are headquartered in Vesper Bay, out in Western Thanaland. The place you're looking for is called the Waking Sands. Give, in, give your name to whoever's at the entrance and you'll be let in. You're a man in demand, Albie demand and the days ahead promise to be busy but i hope you won't forget your old friend Mamodi. drop in and tell me how you're faring from time to time you hear right well i said my piece off you go oh bye Mamodi. okay 
we have hit the hour mark, which means, uh, <laughs> basically I'm going to end the video here. Um, I think it was good. We, we had no, I don't think, F-ups, so I don't have to cut much out. Uh, but, if you liked it, I'll turn around to the camera. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I am Albie, and peace.